Hi, this is Mr Evans. This video is looking at uh, you having to make a recommendation in an essay using numerical evidence uh, to support your answer and the question comes with a case study um, and uh, the this critical path is going to come up in this question. It might be worth just pausing the video and taking some time to read the uh, case study. So hopefully you've done that, you've read the first couple of paragraphs of this case study. We've then got a critical path um, analysis that shows what tasks need to be done and the critical path has been constructed for you. Uh, now sometimes in an exam there may be blanks on here that you will need to fill in, uh, so you should be prepared for that. Occasionally like this the critical path will be completed for you and then you need to maybe manipulate it. Uh, and indeed, uh, first thing to note about the critical path is that it's predicted to finish, we can see that these are weeks, within 51 weeks. Now, AQA really like giving a tight, uh, a, you know, a solid deadline for when something's got to be completed. In this case, there's a football tournament going on in, in 52 weeks, and that is taking place in 52 weeks, that's when the tournament's taking place. So there's a very specific deadline, and this network analysis calculates that the project should be able to finish uh, within that time. However, often in these case studies, uh, they might throw you a curveball, as they have done here. Just pause, maybe, quickly and read this paragraph. Okay, so this experienced chief executive has said the market research will take 15 weeks and um, recruiting the event staff may take 11 weeks. So what we do, okay, the market research will take 15 weeks. Well, let's have a look. Where's market research? There it is. Dave um, Prita, who did the initial one, has estimated it would take 10. Um, so that will alter the critical path here. And also uh, recruiting staff, where was that? That was um, activity G, which was budgeted seven. So we're going to have a new network. And the first thing to do might be to recalculate the critical path analysis given the uh, information. This is a typical type of question that AQA will ask. And it might be worth you just taking a couple of seconds to recalculate the critical path and think about how you would answer this question. Now then when I've recalculated the critical path, this is what I've come up with. Um, based on Mohammed's figures, it will take 53 weeks the project and therefore wouldn't meet the 52 week deadline. There are other considerations as well and the best answer will consider a combination of the quantitative and qualitative data, in other words, numerical evidence and the other, the other information that's going to you in the case said to come to your conclusion. So how have I decided to answer the question? Well, there's not an obvious uh, term in here to define, so I'm just going to get on with answering the question. But I should note, or you should note, that I have planned my answer to this question. And actually, in this case, I don't think that outdoor events should bid to construct and run the fan zone. So that's, I know that's where I'm going with my essay. And that's behind my first sentence here. There are some arguments in favour of outdoor events beginning to construct and run the event. Okay, so I'm just identifying that there are arguments in favour, but I haven't said that these are strong arguments, and I certainly haven't said something along the lines of uh, one thing that I see a lot of is they should uh, bid to construct and run the fan zone because dot 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 at, at the start of one paragraph so saying oh they should because all right and then at the next paragraph start uh, like that the next paragraph starts they shouldn't because all right that that's not really a high level answer. You're saying they should because they shouldn't because it's very generic. All right, this is a much better way to start because I'm just saying that there are some arguments in favor of them doing something and saying that they're necessarily correct. 
or they should bid to run the event and then contradicting myself later by saying they shouldn't. Uh, so what are the arguments? Well, the first is that Preeta's network, show, network analysis shows that outdoor events should be able to complete the project within 51 weeks, which would enable them to finish in time for the tournament to start in 52 weeks. Okay, fair enough. So that's some very basic numerical information. Preeta has also identified the critical path as A, B, C, A, B, D, F, H, and knowing this could help outdoor events manage their cash flow. For example, there is some flexibility for activity G, which shows they do not have to start recruiting staff until week 37, that should be. This could allow them to save their expenditure until this time, which could be very useful as outdoor events are struggling with cash flow problems. So just combining the information from the critical path analysis to what I've read in the case study, which is that we've got cash flow problems. The process of undertaking a critical path analysis is also beneficial as it makes it more likely the company will deliver the project on time because it will enable pre to set clear deadlines for when each stage of the project should be completed. Okay, so I've just got a series of points here about why uh, they should um, run the event, how critical path analysis has helped them. Any missed deadlines can be made up for by working overtime to ensure the project finishes on time. Okay, so all of that really is about the critical path. In addition to these factors, running the event successfully could improve both brand awareness and profitability for the company, which are two of its corporate objectives. This is another thing that AQA do like to do. They like to occasionally chuck in um, objectives. And so that helps you evaluate because you can say, well, will it improve their brand awareness? These are their objectives. Will winning the contract improve uh, help them achieve these objectives. Okay, so that can guide your evaluation. Okay, so now to get some balance into my analysis. However, there are significant problems in both the organization's ability to deliver such a complex project and the accuracy of um, Preeta's network analysis. Okay, so this is guiding the examiner to what my conclusion is going to be. There are some arguments in favour, but there are significant problems, okay? So you can see how this is better than saying they should run the event, they shouldn't run the event. All right, in this case, I'm doing some weighting of the arguments, uh, i.e. these problems are pretty significant. The first issue is that Preeta is in favour of bidding for the project and appears to have constructed the critical path on her own. Okay, all it says in the case study, we've only got information about Preeta um, uh, doing the following network analysis. It doesn't indicate that she's had any help with that. So why is that a problem? Therefore, it could be subject to bias. You know, she's in subject to, she's in favour of bidding for this. Is she biased? This is a point that we can often bring up you know, who's provided the data and is, are, is there a chance that they're going to be biased? This is coupled with the fact that most of the activities within the analysis are operational or human resource based and it's not clear that Preeta has any expertise or experience in these fields in her role as marketing director. So I've picked up looking at the activities here, you know, lots of this is about operations, uh, a little bit of human resources at the end. All right, Preeta is the marketing director what does she know about these activities when this is combined with the, the concerns of the highly experienced Mohammed it makes one question the accuracy of the network analysis if Mohammed's estimates are factored in it changes the critical path to ACEGH and would mean that the project overshoots by a week so I'm using numerical information here to help me answer the question. Okay, I've not put any numbers in, but um, it's clear that I've calculated the network analysis because I know that we're going to finish it in 52, uh, 53 weeks rather than 52. This would be disastrous for the reputation of the company. be even better if I link that to the corporate objectives of improved brand image, for example. Um, and uh, would not be beneficial in terms of brand image, okay? So linking back to those corporate objectives. In addition to that, the company is experiencing cash flow problems and a project of this sort requires substantial upfront investment. As this is significantly larger than the 
than outdoor, as this event is significantly larger than outdoor events are used to running. I believe they should not bid for this event as they do, as it does not seem they have the expertise or financial resources to deliver such an important project. Okay, so I've put together the fact that Preeta's network analysis may not be accurate. Mohammed reckons the project's going to overshoot by a week. They've got cash flow problems. They're trying to improve their brand image. And, you know, this is an event of uh, 50,000 people rather than the 10,000 people that they're used to. Um, so hopefully you can see how I've tried to combine those arguments, a mixture of quantitative and qualitative data to come to a conclusion. Um, in conclusion, I would strongly recommend that outdoor events do not bid to win this contract because Preeta's network analysis could be flawed. This is because she's a marketing expert and her estimates of the duration of some activities seem to be realistic, seem unrealistic. All right, so what I've done, I've answered the question and I've explained why I've come to that conclusion. But can I get some balance into my answer? The biggest problem that outdoor events have is their inexperience in running such large scale events. Okay, so I'm saying it's not necessarily that the network analysis is the big, biggest problem, it's actually their inexperience. Therefore, I would recommend that they bid to one, run somewhat smaller events, maybe of 20,000 or so, in order to generate revenues, improve their cash flow, and build their experience so they're in the best position to bid to run larger events in the future. Okay, so um, this was my solution to their problem, which is uh, actually I think the biggest problem they've got with running this event is that they've not got experience of doing so. So I think a gradual upscaling of their operations would be better than the drastic move into an operation of 50,000 workers rather than, sorry, participants rather than the 10,000 they used to. Anyway, I hope that's useful in putting a network analysis, critical path analysis question in context.